we've done our audits now how can we how can we like extend our businesses even more um so i think that was the program still work the <laughs> the first thing is mentorships um mentoring so the benefits of having a mentor have been widely studied and discussed professionals and you know young people who've had mentoring and have enjoyed you know higher salaries more opportunity for promotions more and when you're talking about people the pre-career people have opportunities to get into jobs that they may otherwise not you know be qualified for because they've had mentorship and they've been you know been given the opportunity to have ex to to gain some experience um but it's and so you know, as I said, it's, it's mentorship benefits professionals, but it also benefits young people a lot. Like, and I think it's, I, I don't think there's a, a measurement we can take that's going to show how important showing a young person, especially a young person who's been, you know, oppressed, that there's a different, that you can create your own reality. Um, as far as your business goes, like we do it every day as women in business, we, you know, we bootstrap our businesses and we just keep going. And this is a different reality. And if all you see in your life is doors shutting, that impacts like how often you're willing to try. But if we get people when they're super young and show them that doors are, are always, you know, the doors are open that's really important and that you, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be, you know, like suffer the consequences. You can be um, positively impacted by just the influence, by just the, by seeing other people doing things in a different way. It's not just going out and getting a job. It's how you create a business. And yeah. we can do this on our computers now. Sharing this is important. The, first business that I started, product business that I started was like, I had no experience. I just learned a few things and I went and did it. Nobody knows what I look like. And then I become, you know, I'm able to secure wealth. I'm in, I'm able to do all of these things and, and it has nothing to do with my gender or my, 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 you know, race, none of that. And I think that we, as especially in our ecosystem of business, we have the opportunity to show people, to show young people that. And I think it's really, really important. So in the guide that you guys are going to have access to, I have a lot of information. I had to pull the list because I have so much information on mentorships. But how you can start one um, and how to, how to target people who, you know, people of color to, to you know, bring into your programs. And another thing, I didn't put this in the guide, but I do want to say this, that now with everything moving to online because of the pandemic, there's so many, there's so much opportunity for this to be a low, like a, a low effort expenditure for you personally to bring someone into your business and show them, you know, how you run the business or, or whatever, what have you. Um, to to invite you know uh, your mentee into a group like this you know to to show how you know to show the different side of business that isn't um, that doesn't bar you know create barriers for them so I totally went off script for that I hope I no. I hope I was able to add some some good nuggets in there yeah that was great and I think like one way um that you mentioned or like one way that makes like mentorship really easy to get started is if you see somebody and you really want to teach them someone, uh, pay them to do that. Like you had mentioned something about like everything being online. Um, and actually like last summer, like I hired my little brother to help me with random things online because even though he's in college, like he hasn't been exposed to like the online world and how things work. So the easiest way to do that is to pay him to do that. Um, he's a college kid. It wasn't expensive. Right. <laughs> but it exposed him to this. And I still have him do like random things for me every so often. 
Um, but that's like a really easy way. Cause I think like looking for the right person, the mentor that you like jive with, um, or that, you know, if you're having them do things for you, but that's just like, that's like a mentorship hack. I feel I think that's a really, that's really great too. Cause it's like, you can find people in your, in your life that, you know, I, I don't know if this is true for, for the, you know, for the group, but for me, one of the most common things that people I know ask me is how do you get to travel? How do you get to, you know, what do you do? Oh, I want to do that. How do you do it? Like everybody wants to kind of know and experience this part of life. And it's funny to me because I, you know, most of the people that I'm involved with are entrepreneurs just to some extent. And, you know, so to me, I don't even think about it, but what this looks like from the outside is like this cool group of people doing this awesome thing. This must be really hard to do, but it's actually not. Yeah. And, you know, it's a way to invite somebody and I'm going to go back to people of color. It's a way to invite people, of, people of color to um, enable them to build wealth in a way that uh, that racist organizations and systems can't affect them. Like that has, yeah. like, is, none of that shit has anything to do with e-com. <laughs> like, yeah. It just doesn't. You can, you can have an idea, you can figure, you can source it, figure out how to launch it without your race becoming an issue at all. And you can bootstrap it as well. Like there's so many ways that we can, show this other side of things because I think that a lot of young people are like get, from you know young people that I've spoken to get beaten down by like 18 19 20 they're just like yeah for sure like this is I why it's like feeling that that first experience of like racism to your the, the the barrier put in front of you for yeah. no other reason than you know, you don't have the right education because, and you have all these factors that played into that, or you, you know, people just being blatantly racist and like, I'm not going to give you a try. So this is a way that we can leverage our business to help, you know, to help individuals. Mm -hmm. And it may so, seem tiny, but it like it, that has a ripple effect throughout somebody's entire life 100%. and generations and generations. Nikki ask if you know of any good programs um, to partner with for mentorships or how she can find a mentee. I will, I, I, I have a huge list. I called the list for the guide, Nikki. So I will post in the group. I'm going to go back there. Are, I do have several um, links of places that you can look or, or um, strategies to help find mentees that you can, that you can connect with. Um, and so I'll, I'll make sure that that's in the guide or if I don't have it in there, I will make sure it's in the, in the group. Cause that's a great question. And that's, yeah, I was looking at that and I'm like, okay, how to not have so much information that people are overwhelmed, <laughs> but that's, that's an important piece. It's a yeah, very important sure. piece. So moving on from mentorships. Oh gosh, it's 748. That's because it took 10 minutes for me to get this presentation started. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh so scholarships. Um, I want to, I'm going to take a few minutes to rant on this because it's like, this is really exciting right now. What's, what's happening with scholarships. So exciting. So um, when I say scholarships, I don't necessarily mean just donating money to an existing scholarship, but though that's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That ticks the needle forward too. But I mean, creating your own scholarship for your business. So looking around your niche and like, do you see um, areas in which there, there's a lack of diversity? And if you see that, how do you, you know, how can you affect that? You can create scholarships. And I'm going to just stop there and move on to the next slide because I want to tell you guys about a case study. This is literally happening right, right now in the business that I work for. So I, I'm an operations manager at another e-com business for Shield Your Body, which Lauren had said at the, at the start, and, and in addition to my business. And we had, so my boss and I have worked together for 20, on and off for 20 years. And when, about three months ago, when things started, the protests started happening, um, we, a lot of people in our niche, like, sent out emails about supporting BLM, and 
you know, there was no action item, they, but they're, it, and that's great. I'm glad that like companies are coming out and saying we support this, but then there were like, they got trolled so hard. <laughs> you know, you, the people who are just like, oh, why do, you know, all lives matter, all of the, all of the things you guys, I'm sure you've seen on Facebook and other social media. So we decided, we were like, we want to do something, but we don't know what we want to do. Um, what can we do? And we talked about it. Like I, we literally had this huge conversation about what to do, just me and my boss, based on an email that one of our competitors had set out, sent out. And, you know, what, what came about this from this conversation is we knew we didn't want to like expose ourselves to the trolls because first of all, it, de it detracts from actually doing something. It detracts from the message but also like we work really hard to build our list and we don't know if our list is going to like jump ship. And, you know, we didn't want to put ourselves in front of, you know, that shit storm. <laughs> so what, um, if, you know, we were like, okay, well, we're, what can we do? We'll think about this for a little bit. And my boss, like a couple of days later, my boss was like, Hey, you know, I think you're like the blackest person in this niche. And I was like, well, that's sad because I'm like a quarter black. So that's really sad. And we kind of had a little laugh. And then we got on the phone and we started talking about it. It's like, no, like this is really true. Like I look, there's nobody doing building biology with a specialty for EMF. That's, that's uh, African-American, like none, zero. So we're like, okay, well, let's create a scholarship. And literally within days, my boss had went out and he found um, a, a, this excellent institute that does certifications in our in uh, building biology. And he's like, well, fuck it, I'm just going to call him and I'm going to pitch the idea. We're going to, we're going to pay to, you know, put somebody of color through the certification process. So he called the Building Biology Institute and we didn't know if they were going to be on board or not. And what happened was absolutely amazing. So he pitched the idea to do this sponsorship and the building by the people at the building um, biology Institute were so on board with this idea that they were like, that's not enough. We we're going to pay the incidental fees for this person of color to take the certification because we want to make this, we want to build, we want to bring diversity into this, this field also. And it's the type of certification where you actually have to go to the, the institute to do it for like, I think it's like a two week program, something like that. Anyways, you have to go, it, it, there's, there's hotel, food, all of these things. They're going to pay the incidentals. And what, so within the matter, literally of like two or three weeks, we set up our first scholarship program.